Hello there. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to generate realistic images using Leonardo AI. First of all, you'll have to choose your model. In this case, I'm going with the Leonardo Diffusion model. Next, you can choose any option, but the preferred one is ray tracing or 3D render. I'm going to use 3D render for this example. Now, the next most important part is phrasing your prompt. You're going to have to use words like award winning studio photography, no contrast, pro color grading, soft shadow, clean sharp focus, and in the end, choose the type of photography you want. For example, if you're trying to generate an animal or if you want to generate something like a fictional character, you're going to use studio photography. Or if you want a realistic human face, you could also use studio photography. I'll give you some examples. Like the frog I generated here. Look at the keyword. Grumpy frog, award-winning studio photography, no contrast, pro color grading, soft shadow, clean sharp, and national geographic photography. Now look at the amount of detail it generated here, just because of those keywords. Next, if you want to draw an apartment, you could use the same prompt, but edit it up a bit. For example, for a modern apartment, you could use award-winning studio photography, no contrast, pro color grading, soft shadow, clean sharp focus, but this time you're going to use film photography. Keep in mind that this part here, or the part that is up on your screen right now, you have to keep it all the same. Now look here, there are a few things you can change about this. The first part is the subject and your contrast. You could add your contrast setting over here. For example, I'm choosing no contrast. You could choose the type of color grading you want. You could choose the type of shadows or the type of focus. And finally, the main thing you'll have to change according to your needs is the photography style. For example, the subject here is old lady. The same prompt is used, award winning, studio photography, no contrast, pro color grading, soft shadow, and clean, sharp focus. But this time, it's also film photography. Over here, the topic is Old Yoda, award-winning studio photography, as we've kept the same, no contrast, pro color grading, soft shadows, and clean, sharp focus. This time, I did not add the type of photography, so it just shows it for us. And this, Old Yodo, award-winning studio photography, no contrast, pro color grading, soft shadow, clean sharp focus. Keep in mind, if you do not add the type of photography you want at the end, it will automatically just go to the studio photography. Now, there are some things you have to keep in mind while trying to generate hyper-realistic images. For example, you have to think like the photographer. You need to make up what's in your mind and how to accurately describe it in a prompt. Here are some tips for generating hyper-realistic models. First of all, you'll have to keep your subject close to reality if possible, like choosing real subjects or real animals, whatever you want. Next, keeping the prompt short and concise. And the most important one is thinking like the photographer. You have to make up the prompt in your mind about what you exactly want on your screen. For example, you have to be careful in choosing the type of photography you want according to your subject or the thing that you want to generate. For example, we can change up the topics right now. Like in the topics, I'll keep... And the photography, I'll choose for... Glamour. Sadly, we've run out of alchemy tokens, so we could just use the Leonardo style for this. Let's test it out. Now, here, now here, we have another realistic generation. It copied the hair perfectly fine, even matched the outfit according to the glamour style. 
and it's matching the aesthetics because we chose glamour photography now we could try the same thing in studio photography now after it's generated we can see the close-up as we chose the studio photography option we can see that the light is evenly distributed highlighting the parts of the face and the eyes are pretty realistic we can try again with a different style of photography. For example, cinema photography. Again, it gave us more of a cinematic look according to the type of photography we choose. The lighting is evenly distributed. The eyes are more cinematic and a little more realistic. and the tire is chosen likewise we could try this on an animal this time we chose the cinema photography for the dirty fox we're not always supposed to do this but we can try with the other option too look here it's a cinematic shot of a fox that's pretty dirty right now now look it generated us the exact thing we asked for. It's a hyper realistic fox using the cinema photography style where the lighting is coming in from all the ways. We can try this again with National Geographic photography. It's slightly changed up than the other photography style. Now we could try. Here, it generated a fox in the wilderness using the cinema photography style. If we just go to the National Geographic photography, it's going to generate us something completely different. Here, it's actually using the National Geographic photography style, unlike the other one, and it's showing it in the wilderness, because in the previous examples, there was a studio curtain behind it. We could try with something else, like the landscape, for example. Heavy rainfall in the wilderness, keeping the award-winning studio photography no contrast, pro color grading, and the stuff same. Keeping all of this same and the geographic photography style. After we generate, it will generate us a scene of heavy rainfall in the wilderness here it generated us a pretty realistic drawing of there being rainfall in the wild using the national geographic photography if we try the cinema photography for this style could be something completely different the thing with hyper realistic images is you won't always get what you want you have to just go with the trial and error method again and hit generate till you find something that's perfect to you. You can mess around with the prompts. You can even change the main body up just to fit your preferences. For example, you could use iron oxide for determining red, brown or oxidized skin color. And for the eye color, we can use indigo as for representing blue. It generated as a very realistic skin tone with the eye color that we asked for and in hyper realism. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.